Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. I'm just hanging out in the front yard today having a little snack. Big old watermelon I got the other day. It's ice cold, uh, pretty good. Got a pretty good flavor to it. I was going to do this video in the backyard, but I decided to be nice today. I have some friends eating back there. I've been throwing out some seed since I got back to the States and uh, there was a big old fat squirrel and three or four dove eating back there, so I decided not to disturb them. Anyway, the topic today, is it all or nothing? Does it have to be all or nothing? You know, I'm always, you almost always in every video I, that you see me do, I mention probably in the title, it says something about being raw vegan or I at least talk about it in the, the video. Um, well, I was thinking about that today and it's like, you know, I think somebody mentioned this not too long ago and I got the idea in my head and I was like, ah, oh, today's a good day to go ahead and do a video about it about does it really have to be all or nothing? Um, am I only interested in watching somebody else or hearing what they have to say only if they eat exactly like I do? Well, my take on that is no. And a good example, is, and I hope, I, I kind of wanted to do this one. I'm not sure when I'm going to start this series of videos, but if you watch the last one, um, I mentioned that I was going to do a series of videos that kind of take you through the steps, kind of take you a little bit more in detail through the transition. Um, and like I say, when I'm talking about detail, I'm talking about generalities. I'm not going to sit and say, okay, you need to eat four bananas, this or that or that. But we're kind of talking, going to talk about the progression. And actually, the it's pretty much going to be the title is going to be go from a SAD, Standard American Diet, to Raw Vegan, step by step. Now the reason I wanted to do this video today about is it all or nothing is I'm going to lay out some information in this that will help maybe some people that are just getting started or some people that are struggling and um, uh, are going to, you know, maybe you're thinking about doing a little bit more transition or doing what I was talking about, take a step backwards to be able to take a bigger step forward. Um, now what I get a lot of times is when I'm talking to people online or even sometimes in comments, I'll have people that just tell me, you know, I'm not trying to be raw vegan or I'm not trying to be raw or they're not trying to be high raw or either, you know, the raw part's not their main focus of the journey. And I've actually had some people reaching out to me lately that are vegan and they tell me straight up. I'm talking with a lady in San Jose, Costa Rica that's too close to me that, we, that I met online and she flat out said she doesn't, she's not sure she wants to be, you know, high raw. She says right now she's probably about 50% raw. I had somebody send me an uh, email message today. And hey, I encourage you, you know, I'll try to do the best I can on that. But um, if something doesn't get answered in a video or you have a, you really want to get a question to me, um, send me an email. Um, you can get to it by, I'll try to, I'll try to remember in this video to put my email address below again. But you can always go to the website, Raw Tropical Living, which is a link within my uh, YouTube page. Anyhow, when I do this series, I kind of want you to take the whole uh, Bruce Lee approach. And that is, you know, Bruce Lee had the saying, um, take what is useful and discard the rest. Um, if you're not trying to go completely raw, if you're going to eat every day, maybe you're going to eat cooked food every day, every night, well, at least you can take some information on be raw during the day or or how to get through to being more raw or just basically how to get more uh, whole plant-based foods into your diet um, it doesn't have to be an extreme and it's not for me to sit and judge or it's not for me to tell you you know you have to be raw or you have to be this percentage raw uh, just get more fruits and vegetables into your diet um, if you're trying to get healthier whether you're trying to go raw vegan or maybe you're just trying to go raw till four maybe you're just trying to be vegan maybe you're just trying to be healthier take what you can take out of that um, I'll give just a little bit of preview it's probably going to be just something as simple uh, like for people that are brand new beginners it's just replacing a meal with fruit and eating as much fruit as you want so there's going to be baby steps along the way and you can get on the train at any station and you can get off the train at any station if you've already done some of the basics and you feel like the you know you don't need to do a complete start from scratch uh, transition jump in when you feel it's relevant to you take what you feel is relevant to you 
And I would say take that approach and watch a lot of people. Watch a lot of people on YouTube. Go to a lot of forums. Read a lot of blog posts. Take in as much information as possible. And then go back to the number one guru, the guru above all. And that's that inner guide in you. And and that will be part of the process too that we'll talk about. In the beginning, your guru may not be that strong. He might be kind of quiet because he's still learning, you know. But it's not going to take you very long before you get some of the lingo down in the raw world, the vegan world, where it comes to recipes or whether it comes to what your body's doing, the new things that are happening to your body with this healthy way of eating, this new lifestyle. Um, and your little inner voice he's got a quicker learning curve than you he's going to get it your body's going to start once you start detoxing and you're going to probably you know unless you do it super super slow you're going to go through some unpleasantness but once you get through some of that initial unpleasantness and get just a little bit of the detox out of you and get a and are eating cleaner your little uh your little voice is going to kick in he's going to let you know when you're your body's not right. He's going to let you know when you're eating correctly. And you're going to have to trust this. You're going to have to trust this one. You're going to have to trust that guide. You're going to have to listen to that guide. And you're going to have to be really open. You're going to have to almost listen in the beginning like he's got a really light voice. And you've got to listen really close to hear and understand what he's saying. But it doesn't have to be all or nothing. And we don't have to be like, well, if I don't agree with somebody 100%, they don't have anything of value to share with me. Wherever you want to go on your journey, you just basically want to have as much knowledge as possible. What you do with that knowledge is totally up to you. Now me, like I've, I've, I've mentioned before, I wanted to go all the way down the rabbit hole. I'm just too curious of a person. And I do say, I will say this about the raw thing. I, and I think I've mentioned this before. Before you say, well, I'm not interested in being all raw, I'd go for a month. I mean, if it's just out of curiosity, I'm a curious, curious person. I mean, I knew from the beginning that I was going to have to go 100% raw, at least for a period of time, just to see, you know, to see how my body feels. So, you know, without looking towards the goal, towards the end game, and without, I don't want to contradict myself, but in the beginning, don't think at all about going 100% raw. Just go through the process. Go step by step by step by step. And I think you're going to, if you've got any sort of imagination, curiosity, you're going to be like me, and you're going to have to go and try more. Um, but be careful on what you learn. Because I'm going to tell you this, if you're anything like me, and you may not be, and I don't know if that's even a good thing to be like me, once you learn some of these things, there's no going back. In other words, like this week, I've, I think I mentioned, I've been eating a lot more cooked food um, just because I've been in the States, and I knew I was going to eat some cooked food while I was here, and I've even given myself the green light to eat more cooked, and I've, I've eaten different things. I've eaten heavier well, when I say heavier, more volume of food, like the potatoes. I've eaten lighter just with steamed vegetables, which I just had some steamed vegetables, um, some cabbage, and some zucchini today. And I've been very, very aware of what this does to me. Like, um, like how each little bit of this food that I'm not used to eating, how it takes me from my normal feeling, how it affects my normal energy level. So... Once you find the truth, there's no more, I mean, you can say, you, we can sit here and debate all day what's better for you, what's not better for you. But once you get a little bit down the path on this, your body's going to tell you, you're going to know it. And then you have to make the decision. It's just like with me. Now, I'm, I'm knowing more and more about how on the times when I'm home or when I'm away, how different foods outside my normal parameters are going to affect me. I know they're going to bring me down. How much are they going to bring me down? Is it a is it um, is it a trade off? Is it a trade off that I'm willing to take? Um, you know, am I willing to take the pleasure of eating this one meal for what I'm going to feel afterwards? Some things yes, some things no. Anyhow, I hope you'll keep that in the back of your mind. I hope you'll tune in for this series of videos. But I just hope in general, when you're studying 
when you're on your path, when you're studying about nutrition, the psychology of it, when you're listening to people, listen with an open mind. Don't go in with a closed mind. I mean, I watch people all the time that I go into thinking, you know, that I disagree with them. And then I find, sometimes I find a small percentage of things I agree with. Sometimes I find I, I'm surprised that I agree with more than I would have thought. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this little quick one. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Um, I probably will do one more, maybe one more, possibly two more videos before I get back. But I'm heading back to Costa. This is being taped on Monday. I'm heading back to Costa Rica on Wednesday. So the Alabama trip is almost over. Anyhow, hope you're having a great day. Love you all. Peace.